you know, it's hard to say that, you know, this is this is where you draw the line and you don't go further. I, I think you have to evolve, because if you don't, I think cultures um, die. My name is Ken Lazinski. This is my wife, Melody. Uh, we're in Regina, Saskatchewan. We're making cabbage rolls, or holopsy as they call them in Ukrainian, for Christmas Eve, which we'll probably use twice on December 24th and also on January 6th for the uh, Christmas Eve according to the Julian calendar, or the Ukrainian Christmas as people call it. What Melody is doing right now is cutting up the cabbage leaves from soured heads that I have made now for probably about four or five years. We try and buy uh, Copenhagen or Golden Acre. That was uh, something that my mother always uh, indicated were the best cabbage heads for making sour leaves. My father was of uh, Polish-Ukrainian ethnic origin. My mother was of Ukrainian ethnic origin. Uh, so, but we celebrated the 24th. We always have, had the 12 traditional dishes. And then usually we went to my grandparents' place or my uncle and aunt's place on the 6th and 7th. So we would celebrate Christmas Eve at least twice. And so certainly from making the cabbage leaves to making sauerkraut to preparing all the dishes, um, it was something that my parents always did and something that, that uh, we picked up, the, the three kids that grew up in the family. So what we have here is uh, white rice. Uh, this is a traditional uh, filling for cabbage rolls or holopsi. Uh This white rice does have some onion in it because that's how we've normally, uh, you normally would make it. This rice here doesn't have any onions to accommodate uh, three of our four children that don't like onions. Uh, here we have buckwheat, buckwheat with onion. Buckwheat uh, is, was probably a replacement for rice in early settlement days when they couldn't afford to buy white rice. You'd have to go to a general store to get it. If you didn't have the money, you probably would grow this on the farm. So buckwheat uh, is now become part of the tradition. This is buckwheat, just without onion. And then to accommodate uh, modern tastes, I guess, there's ground pork mixed with rice in there. And it's, it's more of a, and you usually add tomato sauce to it as well. But it's something that uh, people perhaps associate more with cabbage rolls than they do plain rice or plain buckwheat. Uh, I grew up in an English, Scottish, Irish background. So I did not even know what a cabbage roll or pierogi tasted like until I met Ken. So, but over the years I've learned to make them all. So mm -hmm. yeah, our our Christmas it was more just you know the regular turkey and dressing, and Christmas Eve might have been ham and scalloped potatoes, but uh, nothing like the twelve dish. Personally, I just I get enjoyment out of working with food, making food. Yeah, and I enjoy I really do enjoy the foods now that I've gotten used to them. Um, Took me a little while to get used to some of the traditional foods that they have, but I enjoy where, and it's become a, a tradition. Generally, our daughter or son or somebody else will be helping us make them as well, so it's more of a family thing. I gave this one to my wife probably 35 or 40 years ago, and it's sort of our, in a sense, our Bible for cooking, uh, because it it has all the recipes that. Uh, you would want for Christmas Eve, plus Easter and other other traditional Ukrainian dishes. And so it's been an excellent uh, document for us. I think they've published this three or four times since then, or republished it. And inside, they have the, the write-up about Christmas Eve supper, the traditions that lead up to it, and then the 12 traditional dishes in here. I learned from his mom, yeah. And uh, she her cabbage rolls were very, very tiny. She made really... Um, slim little ones. I've never been able to make them quite as small as she does, did, but um, I learned how to make them from her, what to do with the, the uh, casseroles, how long to bake them. Um, also we do cabbage rolls for mosaic and, uh, and that type of thing as well. Um, so yeah, so I learned from her uh, and up until actually the year she even passed away she made cabbage rolls for us at Christmas time. Yeah. So into her 90s, so she was a very good cabbage roll maker. So I'm trying to keep up the tradition. So over the years, we've modified some of the recipes, uh, like the kutya. Uh, we use a crock pot now to cook it. 
works way better than so this is a modification we've made that works really well uh, the Vushke which are little tiny uh, pereja um, here's recipe for collage I mean there's one in here but we've got our own so I mean over the years we've uh, made some changes maybe adjusted the ingredients to a certain extent uh, just so that this is the Veronica or Pereja. Well, you can see the notes here. The notes would be from advice that uh, my mother would have given us, for example, or from personal experience, saying, oh, okay, we have to do something different here. So uh, probably every recipe we have here, we've made some modifications, and then notes from my mother about making the mushrooms that we've saved. So this has got all kinds of inserts in here. But uh, certainly... The, the base is in the book, but uh, we've made modifications as we've gone on. I call it living heritage. I mean, uh, things are evolving. Um, yes, I'm of Ukrainian ethnic origin, a little bit of Polish, but uh, we are living in Canada, and so our culture, our traditions are different than what you probably would experience. And, you, and even now, um, I think even the Ukrainian people themselves, and they're a little bit divided, unfortunately, right now, but. Uh, things are evolving for them. Uh, and so the Russian language has been brought into them. They probably have some Russian culture and traditions that have been incorporated. So, um, uh, yeah, I would say we're experiencing living heritage. Uh, I don't speak the Ukrainian language that much. I understand it quite well, but when I do, uh, and I, so for me, this is really important part of, uh, especially Christmas, I guess uh, that's when I can relate to, to my heritage where I came from, my ancestors, um, it's important. And the fact that, that Melody enjoys it and participates right along with me, in fact, does a lot of the work, is really important. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, hopefully, I mean, that our, our children will continue it as well. It, it's hard to say, but I mean, I, uh, I think it's, it's been ingrained in them enough that, and they'll have their own twists on it too, there's no question.